This trailer has taken me months and we just about finished absolutely everything on it for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a small little tour. I kind of started building it when we got the shop. We got the shop about a month ago, so really just under a month, but you know, shipping all the stuff in, it took some time. So starting out with all of these hose reels first, this one is the high pressure. So this basically goes through a swivel, through a jumper cable that goes all the way to the pressure washer. As you can see, this is the garden hose. So I'll go ahead and hook this up to the client's house. The water will run through here into this Y adapter and it'll go to the pressure washer if I'm using it at the time. And then here is the soft wash hose. Basically what happens is this well, automatically, so once I hook this up to the client's house, it'll automatically go through this swivel and this jumper cable to the uh, Y adapter. I could go ahead, I have a kind of a ball valve here. I could switch from the pressure washer or to the water tank. I went ahead and made this so I could switch to the water tank. It'll go in the water tank. Then I have one for chemical as well. And then I have one for surfactant. These ones I have to manually add them because obviously I'm not hooking up to the client's sodium hypochlorite source or surfactant. So it all goes to these kind of tanks here. And then it all goes into this proportioner. Basically what happened is I basically just put in some bulkhead fitting a bulkhead fitting uh, and then I couldn't really find a bulkhead fitting for this size so I just kind of got a PVC pipe and then I run tubing through all of them and I put them on the bottom of this proportioner now the good thing about this proportioner is I could basically just adjust everything at once so if I need so I have 12.5% that I'm putting in this chemical tank if I need a 1% 2% 3% 4% I could all do it for this blend manifold here and so this manifold all blends out goes through here and then it would go through my pump it goes through here this little jumper cable into the swivel and then it goes through my soft wash hose. I also do have a Hudson flow valve right under this water. So as soon as the water fills up to the top, it'll automatically stop it. Now I also got some cones that were on sale for like seven bucks. I think it was at Tractor Supply which is an insane deal. I got this red Husky box because I just, you know, put some pump up sprayers in there. I can put my gas can in there. Um, just anything else I really need, like my toolbox. And then I do have this up here, which is just the trailer box. So as you can see right here, I have an on and off switch. This is to turn on and off the pump. And then I do have this. Uh, this is to go ahead and charge the battery. So if we open it up here, as you can see, the battery is running through here. And then we have the battery charger. And also to hook this up, I basically just need to plug the extension cord into here and the battery will be charging. By the way, you need to buy one of these battery chargers for that to actually work. And you need to buy this adapter as well so you could actually plug it in. Going over here, I do have my service cleaner right here. I was trying to find a way to actually mount it well. This just seemed to be the best, uh, you know, without spending a ton of money. And so I literally, it just, it fits really nice here. I put it in between here and then I have these kind of Velcro things right here that holds it in place. Same thing, my pressure washer. I bolted this pressure washer down and I just got some Velcro straps to go ahead and hold it in place. I haven't found a way to put the wands there yet because it won't fit in the Husky toolbox, but I think I'm going to strap this down as well, say with like bungee cords. Uh, the cones aren't strapped down. I should probably do that. And I need to figure out something with the wands. But honestly, that is really it. This is the entire pressure washing build. I mean, you can kind of guess how much this costs in the comment section. I'll tell you if you're close or not. It is a little bit more expensive because the first year we started, I was just going out of the truck bed. So I was literally just in the back of this truck bed, putting everything in here. And, you know, I had to get it out. It was on hose reels and everything. Switching to this trailer is going to be awesome. We're currently in the off season. So I'm just waiting till our season starts up again. And then I can go ahead and utilize it. I just wanted to make a quick video just showcasing the newly built trailer because, you know, it's newly built and I just want to show everybody who's trying to, you know, build their own, for example, how to do things, where to put them. And, you know, I didn't really follow a certain, I guess, schedule of where I'm putting all of my stuff in the trailer. I just kind of went out how it went. I obviously put the hose reels kind of on the side here. You could build up a platform if you'd like. It's totally up to you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below and I'll be responding to every comment. Thank you.